And this leads to, I guess, this question I ask everyone, and I'll ask you later, but <laughs> how did some of these experts define ikigai? Were there any, not conflict, but were there any sort of definitions that were quite different to each other or ones that you thought were a bit unusual? <laughs> well, I guess Dr. Matthews were, say, was saying that ikigai is not self-realization. I, if I'm not mistaken, I think he was really clear about that. Yes. Uh, well, I think the other experts really embrace that it can be self-realization and it can be something, you know, um, noble, like admirable, whatever, like um, chasing the dreams, uh, getting better at things. But I think a lot of them, especially those who work in the government or government funded organization, they were more focused on like a small things, like a tiny happy moment in your life that, you know, I like the words uh, one for different said, I think it was like a ikigai is like a small patchwork collection of little joys and yeah, I, I, I like think that it, I like that. Um, so yeah, there's different scales they're talking about, but overall, I think most of them kind of um, embrace the spectrum. And um, Dr. Hasegawa, I think he mentioned, you know, it's important to not shy away from the negative or painful experiences you have in your life, because life is a, especially with all the adults, I think they have the rich accumulation of life and you know, um, just trying to embrace those negative moments and how, how they overcome, uh, this can be part of the diet. So it was quite, um, yeah. It's quite a broad concept, touches really on broad. hedonic uh, happiness, I guess, and eudaimonia. And yeah. it can be, for some people, yeah, the pursuit of meaningful goals and maybe self-actualization. Or as Ken, yeah, Ken Moggy describes it as a spectrum. Mm-hmm. But I did make a mental note thinking, oh, that's a great way to describe it, a patchwork of, you know, the, the things in your life. Um, I mean, it doesn't make research easier, the fact yeah. that it's so broad. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I think it's fascinating. Uh, you know, they all kind of embrace the room for interpretation and the shared understanding of that this is important, but it doesn't have to be this specific way. Yeah. 